Hi guys, big thank you to Web Motorcycles for lending me the Triumph Tiger 1200. This model, in particular, is the GT Explorer. In today's video, we'll take a quick look around it in the garage, and then it's a beautiful day, so let's get out on the road in the twisties and put it through its paces. Also, it's got a heat seat at the back, so I'm going to try and convince Faye to sit on the back of it. First things first, absolutely love this colour. I think it looks very, very striking. It's a handsome looking bike and it's still got that adventure, Tora, take me anywhere. I'm rugged. I can handle anything. Look to it. It is a big bike. As you can see, Faye's Z650 is behind there and it dwarfs it. It is a big bike and Faye is here because, as I say, we're getting ready to head out on the road and test this thing out. A couple features of the bike just before we do that. It's got Brembo brakes, it's got a brand new developed engine where the weight's been shifted low down to help it in the corners and the twisties. It's got a beautiful TFT which we'll see out on the road. It sounds amazing. It's got radar detection. In fact, it's got so much. I'm just going to put that in the description. So if you're interested in the tech specs, have a look in the description. But look at the day out there. Let's get it out on the road. What a beautiful day. We'll start with a little uh, little race here. Count it in, babe. Ready, three, two, one. Hey, hey. Get on the plate. Jesus, this thing falls. <laughs> oh, oh. Sounds like a V8. All right, guys, what a day we've got. To have a look at this bike, it's beautiful out here. Nice dry roads. It's a little bit cold, but the heated grips are keeping me nice and warm at the minute, so nothing to worry about. We're going to have a look at this bike on slower roads, twisty turning, straight line, and then also have a look and see what Faye thinks about it being a pillin passenger at the end of the video. Obviously, she rides a bike, so she's coming from a point of view of a rider and also a pillin, so it might be interesting to see what she thinks. I've got to be honest, from the very outset, I am absolutely in love with this bike. I think Triumph have done a fantastic job at making an all-round exceptional bike. It's nice and clickable, as you can see, like in a village like this. It just moves around, actually. It's got full tank of fuel. Just coming out of the village and, you know, get on the gas and it's there. You've got so much power. And you're kept nicely out of the wind. This thing just does it with ease. You just have no concept of how quickly this thing can, can absolutely break through the It's fantastic. The right quality is fantastic. On the twisties here, it's mucky. You've got so much feel through the tyres. The suspension is doing a fantastic job at soaking up all the bumps. It's just fantastic. I can't get enough of the noise of this thing. It sounds like a V8 supercharge. It just sounds incredible. On the brakes as well, I mean the quick shifter, the brakes. Ah, let's talk about the quick shifter and the brakes. So quick shifter is super smooth in all gears. Brakes are fantastic. And the handling, again, you just lean in with this thing. It gives you so much confidence around the bends. It's just spot on. And the noise of that engine is just superb. It's infectious. I can't get enough of this. I can't get enough of this engine. Oh. It's nice and stable at slower speeds. Lovely clutch feel as well. It's a really nice balanced bike. I absolutely love the engine note on this bike. It's fantastic. All right, so just coming up through some country roads at a um, nice, steady pace. And I can tell you, this bike is 
100% an all-round superstar. On roads like this where it's really bumpy, it's gritty, it's grimy, it's just not the best conditions, but you get loads of feel, loads of feel through the tyres, you know where the bike is, you've got plenty of grunt, you've got great brakes, but the suspension is just, it's phenomenal. It does an absolutely exemplary job at soaking up the bumps. And you know, this is basically, it's got a full tank and the tank size on this is, is pretty big. It's like 30 litres. And somehow they've engineered the bike. It just, it just simply, uh, it, <laughs> feel up like my personal bike with a 20 litre fuel tank I really feel it and it really changes the way it feels on the road with this I, I don't know how they've done it but it just feels as light as it does when it's empty it's superb it's really really clever really clever I absolutely love this bike genuinely do Right, let's review this thing, what it's like we've found the back. You ready to get on boat? Yeah, ready. So, I mean, this is something that I think is really important with these bikes, particularly these big adventure bikes. It's all about loading up with luggage, travelling around the world and seeing different places with your, with your, with your backpack, is it called, babe? Back yeah, backpack, billion. And the nice thing is, we'll get Faye's honest sort of opinion of what this thing's like. Because this, I mean, it's got heated seats, got the comfort seat and everything like that. So, for a pillion, this is this is well set up. And the thing is, Faye, obviously, as you've seen, rides her own motorbike. So, um, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll kick off it. I mean, it, it feels very stable with you on the back. Um, Nothing's really changed. Engine feels smooth. Quick shifter still working nice. The balance of the bike seems spot on. Still feel like I can move about on it. It's nice and agile. What's it like for you, babe? Yeah, it's really nice and comfortable. So you've got the high seat at the back, um, so I can see over the top of your head. When I was younger, I used to ride on the back of my dad's Z650, and also his Bandit. So they're always quite low seats, but this one it's nice to go over the top of your helmet, it's very comfortable and all I can feel good. that as well. Sorry, mate, but I can, yeah, I can feel that seat is gives you a good visibility, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice to take in a lot more of your surroundings, whereas before I used to just look at the back of my dad's crash helmet really. It's if there's only so much dead as you can look at. Yeah. So, um, it seats nice, seating position's lovely and I just, really like it. Just to get on the throttle, but it still picks up nice. And I mean, it still feels nice and you can, I can feel you're on the back of the bike, so it feels a bit heavier. Um, but, you know, ultimately, quick shift is nice, engine pulls well. Um, the brakes are like coming up to this roundabout. Yeah, every, everything feels really, really good. This bike has genuinely genuinely it, it impressed me um, I think as an all round package it's just spot on it's going around this roundabout here nice and slow obviously Faye the back it, it just feels yeah it feels great you could comfortably tour around the world on it is the heated seat on have you got is that on for you uh, yeah yeah heated seat's on for me so I can you know it feels nice and warm especially in the winter times uh, with with my Z it's you know, it, it's a bit cold, but with this, you you don't have any of the issue. Obviously, you're taking the the brunt of the wind if if there is any. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's nice, it's comfortable. Heated seats on. I think I might invest in a little heated seat. Yeah, I mean, happy days. I mean, the suspension does such a good job on this bike. I I, I know I've said it before, but it, it, it genuinely it just soaks up the bumps on the UK roads um, and we've uh, we've found the back there are settings that you can you, you can change with with regard to the preload and, and bits and pieces um, just to sort of balance out the extra weight so to speak so in, what, a, what a glorious day it's been testing this um, 
I think if I was to summarise it in, in in sort of four points, I would say it's it's engine is truly impressive. It sounds fantastic. It's got so much grunt and a screaming high end. The second point would be suspension and ride quality. It just is so comfortable um, for any terrain, and it adapts to that on the fly. Uh, it's it's superb. The ride quality is excellent. Thirdly, would be handling. It handles. I keep saying excellently, but yeah, the handling of this machine is fantastic. Um, whether you're doing sporty riding or just cruising around, it just handles. It feels great, even with that fuel tank. And the fourth point is, it's just overall my favourite bike, categorically my favorite bike thanks for watching the video guys really appreciate it um, hope to see you in the next one obviously a big shout out to webs motorcycles into me the bike and supporting me with 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 the channel and uh, yeah please subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, hope to see you in the next one cheers guys